This is good evening. How are you guys doing? Hell oh, yeah. If you want, there's a couple of empty seats up here closer to the stage. You guys probably can't tell all the heads you're looking at the back of. Yeah, we have like 40, 50 more people coming, so yeah. get, get a seat while you can. There's three or four available seats up at the front, so <laughs> we just like to look. we're gonna do a selfie at the end with everybody. So yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those. Who knows? Might be, <laughs> might be cool. Might be fun. <laughs> Who knows? All right. <laughs> All right, guys, we start every good evening news uh, 
Well, first of all, we have tons of great correspondence for you this week. Isn't, isn't that right? I'm uh, really excited to see all of them. I can't really even pick a favorite. Yeah. But if I had to. If I had to, it would be... Colton Jones. Colton Jones. So, <laughs> I mean, you've seen it so also. The show's over. <laughs> it's over, folks. <laughs> No, we have a bunch of great correspondents. They're all going to do some fun, fun stuff. So give you some news, some some info you didn't have. But uh, like every week, we start Good Evening News with the headlines. Are you guys excited for the headlines? Come on. Let's get amped, dude. I know you guys don't know how to read. This is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Is that you start it off? Yeah, sure. That sounds nice. <laughs> I don't know how to read. <laughs> Uh, Travis Barker, the famous drummer of uh, Blink-182, did something wholesome this week when he surprised a blind nine-year-old fan that eliminates Stan. The song wasn't bad enough, but Grayson Roberts said he could tell it was him by the unmistakable smell of cigarettes and hooker urine. <laughs> Travis Barker! <laughs> he said, I can't tell who it is. Hold on, let me make a rap song bad. He said, yeah. oh, Travis Barker. <laughs> yeah, make a rap song really bad. <laughs> Uh, it's a bad time to be gay, folks. Chick-fil-A just announced a new sandwich. The, the, new, the new honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich will be available on August 28th and is said to taste like chicken and honey and pepper and pimento cheese. So, basically anything but penis. I guess no one at Chick-fil-A has tasted my penis. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Almost tastes like chicken, honey, pepper. <laughs> and pimento cheese, the good kind, though. Uh, the city of Austin's chief of police, Joseph Chacon, announced his retirement yesterday. Now the city's task force finds itself trying to fill a giant donut hole. Donuts. <laughs> Cops. Come on, guys. We tried to keep one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep it right nice. in the middle. Hit you right in the gut. Hit you right in the gut. <laughs> uh, the UN reported this week that more than 200 former Afghan officials have now been killed since the Taliban takeover two years ago. The numbers are disputed to be much higher, but the report leaves one thing without a doubt. These Taliban guys seem like some bad eggs. <laughs> Speaking of eggs, you all got to be kidding me. Go on. What? <laughs> Parents around the country are smashing eggs on their kids' heads as a part of a new TikTok trend. Here's what psychologists have to say. Stop. <laughs> Seriously, go guys. There's an egg shortage. Use something that looks like an egg. Like rocks. <laughs> all right. Uh, the president of Mexico attacked the Reuters report. I don't know what that is. Uh, that was published last week that detailed how cartels have disguised drug profits as routine money transfers to move money from the U.S. across the Mexico border. President Lopez proclaimed that this was a lie and that the idea that these cartels have that much power has been completely blown out of proportion. In other news, a Mexican cartel used drones to drop over 30 bombs in a rural part of Mexico this week, so... You know, I heard Obama did that. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, I didn't know what to do with that one. <laughs> uh, the largest search for the Loch Ness Monster in more than 50 years will be taking place this weekend. Ooh. Uh, yeah, apparently, <laughs> they'll be looking all over the darn map for that sneaky fucker. <laughs> more like the Lost Ness Monster. Where is this guy? <laughs> that fucking worm owes me money. <laughs> Uh, New York City announced plans yesterday to build the world's tallest jail in the center of Chinatown in Manhattan. The project uh, is to stand 300 feet tall. <laughs> At least now when you drop the soap, you'll have a great view. You know? <laughs> Prison is uh, going to hold approximately 10,000 inmates and cells are projected to start at 3,000 a month, which is pretty good for a studio. <laughs> I guess we learned our lesson, guys. Make the buildings for good people short and the buildings for bad people tall. Yeah. 9-11. 9-11-2. Escape from New York. 
I was doing it, yes. <laughs> Finally, one that everybody kind of liked. <laughs> <laughs> Tropical Storm Harold made landfall in South Texas this morning and is expected to bring some much needed rain to the area. My cousin Harold is also in town, and I gotta be honest with you, I'd rather hang out with the storm. <laughs> guy sucks. <laughs> no, seriously though, guys, it's a bad time to be a pirate. A lot of storms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, what, what else have we got? There's these two. They're both the, we saved both of the zoo ones on, actually. <laughs> uh, a zoo in Tennessee has become... <laughs> a zoo in Tennessee has become <laughs> home to an incredibly rare giraffe born without the spots that usually define the species. In an interview, one zookeeper said, we promise that she's not a horse. Please stop coming to the zoo and calling her Seabiscuit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, for two on, or oh for one on zoos. Let's see. Let's see the second one, guys. Let's see how the second one does. A zoo in Easter, Eastern China is denying suggestions that some of its bears might be people in costumes after pictures were posted online of the bears standing like humans. The confusion comes. <laughs> from the fact that in China, they call gorillas bears. Ooh, over two. <laughs> over two on the zoo jokes. Well, we're gonna end it there, guys. That's the headlines. <laughs> Time to make a bothead pilgrimage. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Uh, guys, that's the headlines. That's what's going on in the world. Guys, give it, uh, yeah, give, give it up for the headlines. <laughs> I mean, there's a damn writer's strike, guys. We do our best. Oh, my God. <laughs> Before we get uh, started with the correspondence, I just, uh, we put family first yeah. here at Good Evening News. Yes, and, uh, we do. More importantly, our aunt is very mean, as it has been texting us constantly, and she wants us to bring our uh, two cousins out. No, 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 it's just the, it's just the one. Just the one? Yeah. We're just... <laughs> Guys, for bringing it, this is our, this is our weird-ass cousin. We, we've had him here the past couple of weeks. Uh, we're You're trying to get him. Recognize him. Yeah, we're trying to get him in more social situations, uh, kind of get him out there in the world. So give it up right now for Necromancer Nick, everyone. He's going to be going to be playing music for us. Necromancer Nick. Hey guys, hey everyone, how are we doing tonight? Hey, what's up, Nick? Yeah, I've been having a wonderful time since you guys really got me out of my shell. Oh, that's great yeah, to hear. We love having you on. I feel like I was such a weird guy, and now I feel totally normal among all my friends. <laughs> oh, cool. That's good to hear. Yeah, but I will say that family's really important to me, and because family's really important to me, uh, you know, it's, it's always important to keep things in the family. My, my aunt, she asked me to... to make sure that I uh, got my weird-ass cousin out of the house a little bit and introduced him to some people. Wow, well, that's a good thing. So yeah. everyone, are you ready to meet my weird-ass cousin? <laughs> yeah. Everybody, please give it up for my weird-ass cousin, Necromancer Cam. Necro yeah, yeah, Necromancer Cam, all right. <laughs> Necromancer Cam. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> And also playing music. Very nice. Equally talented musician. Um. All right, well. Hello. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> well, we're excited to have you, Necromancer Cam. <laughs> Your premier. Necromancer Nick. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, well, I guess we're going to get the show started now. <laughs> All right, guys, your first correspondent coming up. He's going to give you a couple of uh, food reviews here uh, from in town, I think. Uh, this is a new segment we're doing. Give it up for uh, the food review with the Subman. The Subman, everybody. I heard about this guy. I'm excited for this give one. Give it up for him. He's usually right. late. Notoriously the Subman, ladies and gentlemen. The Subman. Takes his time. He took the bus. Yeah, he took. Yeah, he took the sub. Took the. Oh wow! Oh. He went that way. Where the fuck is the sub man? He should be on his way soon. What the hell is happening? He's. Doesn't even feel like any time's passing with this kind of tunes going. <laughs> hey, everybody, grab a party on the dance floor. 
Jackson Sing with you. <laughs> the sub man, everybody. The sub man. Yeah, we fucking yeah, call. We call All right. Uh, uh, the sub man, everyone. Uh, the, these two white guys were yelling at me. I couldn't understand what was going on. I was, I was scared. I'm a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwiches are easy to fry. I'm fragile, fright. I'm French. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> All right, Subway, so, get doing some food reviews. What's, uh... Well, well, as everybody knows, Subway has changed their marketing ways several times the last couple of years. It's true. Which has led me to be out of a job. Bummer. And, you know, I just, I got all this tattooed on me. <laughs> oh, you are a real guy. I almost couldn't tell. <laughs> so I'm trying, I'm trying to find a new life as an influencer. And I'm doing great, folks. I like it. I like my new life, not having to go to flights early in the morning. People keep telling me I need to go to therapy. Uh, hello? Yeah, he's a sub. Well, I'm smiling. Oh, you're smiling. That too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need it, huh? Some say yeah. it's the happiest people. Yeah. Who need it the most, you know? Yeah, we gotta share our, our youthful joy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're probably fine. You look good. Yeah, I'm a sandwich. <laughs> hey, who did that? Is that Necromancer Nick? Yeah, you're like Absolutely a fucking not. weird cat. He doesn't throw like stuff anymore. <laughs> Do you want I don't that? like this weirdo. I'll Do you want your dick back, Nick? Nick? <laughs> Guys, I want to start my review today. But first of all, I was on my lunch break from being subman, and uh, Jack Timmons he brought sandwiches for everyone, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna give you guys a review of that sandwich first. First of all, it was an Italian sandwich, mm -hmm. covered in the fixings, mm -hmm. oil, all that. Then this psychopath wrapped it in foil. <laughs> it was soaking it. wet. I had a cold steam sandwich. It was dipped in oil. Yeah. You ate the whole fucking thing. I did eat the whole thing, but here's the thing. He didn't even chew. <laughs> Cannibalistic yeah, ass. He ate the foil. Here's the, I don't... I, here's I said, the thing, Ooh, you, you, have you, you gotta foil? get a real taste for it. You gotta eat a lot of it. Ooh. So I ate the whole fucking quarter sandwich. <laughs> All right, so what was the review on the sandwich? I think I like a cold steam butt. I gave it 4.75 sandwiches out of sandwiches. All right. Five sandwiches. All right, that's pretty good. That's yeah. Fine. Next up, Olive Garden. Thank you. <laughs> I went to an Olive Garden recently. I got the lasagna. Why does everybody love lasagna? I don't know. Do you guys like lasagna? It's fun to say. Is lasagna one of your favorite foods? I like it because there's so many ingredients and I would like to have a lot of other things be all around me if I could. Oh my god. <laughs> if lasagna is one of your favorite foods, I think you're... Oh god! Oh you my god. god. <laughs> Shut up. It's kind of like a pasta sandwich is all we're saying. <laughs> Shut up. That's all we're trying to say to you, man. You're going crazy. I'm fine. People need to stop telling me that you I need need therapy. therapy. Look at how hard I'm smiling right now. I've never been happier than to be up here giving you guys these food reviews. You were a regular guy. You come out here looking like Takashi 6 9 you acting crazy. Yeah, they did. They, I said, tap my whole body. I don't give a mother sub. You're sub fucks right now. You don't give any fucks. Are you done? <laughs> Whose bit is this? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> you take charge. What's you're in charge. What's supposed to mean? No, yeah, you're in charge. You're, you're the boss. I know, I got the gun. Man. You're the boss. The guy with the gun's always in charge. Like a man witch. <laughs> Number <laughs> three, cheeseburgers. <laughs> What'd you say? They I, think I said cheeseburgers. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, cheeseburgers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Time for an update? Maybe, who's thought about this, cheeseburger sandwich? Yeah? Wow. <laughs> I definitely haven't. It's like a, what, like a patty I'm melt? Starting, uh, guys, I'm, oh, selling, I'm selling marketing space right here on my stomach. 
for a new cheeseburger sandwich place. Yeah. I want to be cheeseburger sandwich man. Yeah, it's high enough. You won't have get to, that have to be on. a big ass company. <laughs> 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 you big bitch. <laughs> Hey, look, it's the two kids from The Shining. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, I'm, a, I'm an old sandwich, all right? I can't tell who you're talking about. Oh, my about. God. What's up? Anyway, number four, oh macaroni God. and cheese. How do we feel about the crust on it? On when they put the crust on it and they put it in the oven. On macaroni and cheese? Yeah, what do you think I said? I think it's good. You like macaroni and cheese. With the Parmesan crust. Obviously. What if we stop doing the crusty stuff on top and we put it in a sandwich? <laughs> like lasagna? Yeah, hey, what's up with you and sandwiches? What do you mean? <laughs> this is hand poke. It just feels like you're focused. <laughs> what do you mean? Not Guys, make some noise if you like a wet sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody here likes a wet sandwich? What's going on behind me? Nothing. I man. can't Show see anything. Up. I'm a. I got fucking lettuce blocking my view. I thought that was hair. Anyway, you guys think? You guys think? I'm so scared. Please stop. Stop looking over there, Jack. Anyway, <laughs> mac and cheese. Sir. I don't even care. Yeah, cool, what are you doing? Am I gonna get pregnant? No, 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 no. No, probably worse. <laughs> I don't want it. This is a no mayonnaise sub. <laughs> Stop. Get out of here. Well, All right. Uh, you got one more? Yeah, one more. Give me a food that you like. Give me your favorite food, Jake. Subs. Fucking brother in arms right here. Come on, bro. That's done. <laughs> hey, fuck around like and find out about Jack what? Timmons. He, I'm one of his shooters. Give my gun back. If you don't like Jack Timmons, I'll kill you. <laughs> All right, give it up for the sub man, everybody. The sub man, come right here, Dad. I think we're gonna have him back. Hey, you gonna bring up the next guy? Yeah, of course. Uh, guys, almost more important than sandwiches is bathroom etiquette. And that's why Kobe Shingles is going to teach you how to piss next to someone at the urinal. Give it up for him. It's Kobe Shingles, everybody. Guys, give it up for Kobe Shingles. Right now. Ooh. God damn it. What the fuck is Kobe Shingles? And why does the Wi-Fi not work? What the hell is happening? Press space bar. <laughs> Shingles, everybody. Make some noise. Thank you. Right. Hey, everybody. I'm uh, Kobe Shingles. Uh, I got you, is. Kobe Shingles. Don't worry. Guys. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. Thank you. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, behold, this is my presentation. Oh, God. How to pee next to someone at a urinal. Uh, uh, a little bit about me. I, uh, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Kobe Shingles. It's just not work. Hi, I'm Kobe, uh, Cody Shingles. <laughs> and I'm, uh, piss shy. Does this work? What it's the not on. fuck? Be on yeah, it. What the turn, yeah, fuck? Be on it. I turned turn it on. off. Yeah. Fuck it, See, now it works. Wonderful. I'm Kobe Shingles and I'm piss shy. Uh, that means I can't piss next to someone at a urinal, especially without a divider. Uh, I've been piss shy since I was five years old, uh, ever since the Father Sorgi incident in the bathroom. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> I'll just point at you. Jeez. Unfortunately, we all have to pay. And I've traveled very far and wide uh, with, through careful deliberation. <laughs> through careful deliberation, I have found out that, uh, <laughs> through careful deliberation, I finally figured out how to go from being piss shy to what we call piss outgoing. <laughs> 
do. Option one, break the ice. This is what we do. Ready? Uh, this is what you got to do. You got to uh, start describing its color. Uh, start describing the urinal cake, but without uh, mentioning what you're talking about. This is what I like to do. This is what I do. Ready? I go, uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Good. Yeah, distract them. Don't distract them that much. My fucking. I'm retarded! It's good, it's good, it's on. It's on. I'm a retarded! There goes my career. Why are we taking Why are we taking this? This is what I do. I go and I uh, describe a uh, urinal cakes without mentioning what I'm talking about. I go in there, I'm looking down, and I go, oh wow, it's so large. I like how tan it is. <laughs> Its shape feels so nice. <laughs> Smells great. <laughs> Too bad women never see it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is option two. Check again. Uh, after all, maybe maybe it's not somebody you should be threatened by. Maybe like a like a child. Jesus fucking Christ. Or someone that's French. <laughs> Or, of course, a woman. Or if not, you could go, uh, you could, of course, go straight to the women's bathroom where all the stalls are, uh, and then with a bunch of women, again, not threatening, especially if you puff your chest and breathe heavy at them, or slap your, between your legs like this, you go, <laughs> You go to the, straight to the, I hear that word. Straight to the women. Straight to the woman's bathroom. Yes. Thank you. Like that, like a gorilla man. All right, and this is one of the last things I like to do. I like to think of men through history that would never have been pissed shy and pretend to be them. For example, while I, while I piss next to someone, I, I pretend I am Joseph Stalin, Pol Pot, <laughs> or the Boston Bomber. <laughs> or, uh, we, of course, we could uh, create a character. Uh, you know, the, what I do, I like to create a character. Uh, like, I like to, my character is uh, a guy named Leroy Jones. <laughs> When I'm next to someone and they're making me uncomfortable, I go, shit, ah, piss. No! All right, uh, uh, lastly, uh, uh, if you ever, you know, you really want to make a power move, what you could do is you could uh, take out a nicotine pack, you could find a nicotine packet in the urinal, <laughs> You can take it out, you can put it in your mouth. Again, total power move. They'll be scared of you. Gorilla alpha mode, crazy. All right, and this is my last tip. Uh, what I like to do sometimes, I bring a framed photo of my family to uh, hold and look at to comfort me while I do my business. Uh, this is me, this is me earlier today. Uh, <laughs> Comforting myself, that's beautiful. <laughs> There's my family. I miss one. them. <laughs> There's a better picture. Thank you very much. My name is Kobe Shingles. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe Shingles. Give it up for Kobe Shingles. <laughs> that's important. We all need we all need to know that. That is very important. A question on everybody's mind, answer. Guys, well, we're going to get it back on track here. <laughs> uh, hey, well, let's get a finger on the pulse. Who's having a good time so far? Yeah. All right. Keep drinking. It makes it better. Uh, or don't. Okay. Uh, guys, this next guy coming to the stage is a friend of the show, and he's going to tell us what we need to be upset about. <laughs> 
apparently. And give it up for, you know what really grinds my gears with Colin O'Meara, everyone. Give it up for Colin. I'm wondering what to get mad at recently. What is he going to be mad at? Oh, this guy, he gets bothered. This guy looks pissed. This guy looks fucking upset. Oh, I have something. Yeah, I that mad, actually. I prepared yeah, a really good PowerPoint, PowerPoint for this. Okay. Yeah, it's great yeah. font and size of font. There's a free version of PowerPoint on the phone, and this is about as good as it gets. Yeah, I like how you made the question mark a different... I did bold. No, I tried to font. bold the whole thing, and I only bolded the question mark. <laughs> 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 looks All good. Right. Well, here you go. That's all you. Oh, this is how it works? Uh-huh. That's the laser. No, don't. No. All right. There you go. Men who wear scarves. I don't like when men wear scarves, <laughs> especially when they have a short shirt like this gentleman here. My brother does that a lot. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Cars with bright-ass headlights. You know the ones I'm talking about? The blue ones? I fucking hate those. Uh, they like, especially like in the in the rear view mirror, they're always so bright. <laughs> My headlight went out the other day, and then I tried to fix it, and I had to get pliers because I I I removed my headlight from the wires. I didn't know that was a thing, so now I tape the inside of my headlight wires to my headlight so that it works. There's tape in my car. State troopers, what the hell's going on? You guys seen these guys? That's about, that's about all I ever say. I don't, get, I don't get what they do. I don't like state troopers, because they, they're bad. Yeah, they're and, bad. And why? Cops are cool, state troopers suck. Oh, all right. Well, oh, that's really? a good distinction. <laughs> yeah. What's well, the only reason I think cops, because cops will let you drink and drive, but these guys fucking. Yeah, they hate it. They, <laughs> they hate it. Uh, they are not fans. That's that is they don't like it at all. They don't like it at all. I learned that the hard way. Not I even a car you, like that sober up. Not yeah. even if you do it funny. Yeah. <laughs> like the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. We but, should kill them. No, no, no. <laughs> No, oh, you're white. What the hell? You're supposed yeah. to like them. I mean, I like them. I <laughs> uh, one time my dad was drunk driving me and my brother's home when we were kids, and he got pulled over by a cop, and the cop just followed us home and made sure we got home okay. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, <laughs> I don't like, here's the thing. <laughs> All right. I just typed it into Google and that's what came up. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like when you talk to, this is a very niche thing. When you talk to a guy and they say shit like, uh, like if like a football game's on and they go, oh, oh, what is this, uh, sports ball? You know what I mean? You ever meet yeah, a fucking guy that. like that? He doesn't look like he's They like to that. make fun of sports, like they don't like sports and they say shit like, oh, why are they called football? It should be called hand egg. And I'm like, shut up. Nobody hand fucking egg sounds kind of cool. No, no, yeah, you're one of them. Nobody fucking likes you. All right? <laughs> Yeah, that's gross. I hate it. Hey, thanks yeah. for doing the show, by the way. You're Happy welcome. to see you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got a few more here. I see this guy once a year at holidays. Bikes. Bikes. I just don't like bikes. This is actually, this, this is a whole thing that happened. I was driving the other day, and there was a woman that looked a lot like her, oh, large, in the, in, the, in the left lane on the street in a bicycle. She was in a bicycle? <laughs> she was in it. She was, in, she was just in a bicycle. In the left lane of tra stop and track, we had to get in the right lane to go around her. The, the right lane. Best part is, it was one of those, it was a motorized one. She wasn't even riding it. Mm hmm. Like a dirt bike. <laughs> and when she got to a stoplight, she was doing this. She was just moving her arms around. What the hell is it going on over here? Nick? I don't know. You want to add something to the list? <laughs> yeah, fucking triangle. <laughs> That's a bullshit ass shape. That's a gay ass shape, dude. All right, um, next. Uh, <laughs> people that make tragedies about them. This specifically goes out to a girl I went to high school with. She posted on Instagram the other day. <laughs> I don't know. I typed it in and your picture came up again. I <laughs> typed in her name. I don't, I don't know what's going on. No, I don't know if you guys saw that. Fucking Hawaii burnt down or something. And uh, I guess it was bad in Maui. And she posted on Instagram. She was like, Maui's my favorite place I've ever been. Who fucking, who cares? Are you kidding me? People, people lost their hula huts 
And oh she's, my God. <laughs> she's oh my God. <laughs> there, you know how many people can't go on vacation now? And this bitch is upset about that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. Also, Hawaii. Add that to the list. I don't get it. Uh, I don't. I don't know why it's a state. You know what? It takes it takes someone with a real, real great person. You mean you have to be so hard in to be like even in the worst of times? I don't like this place. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see Moana, but maybe that would change. All right. Yeah, that probably changed your mind. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it's about. But that takes true generations deep Philadelphia racism right there. That's what that takes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't. I don't keep them away. <laughs> I don't like him coming over to the mainland. I don't like it. I will say this. The big one time in fourth grade, we got a girl, from, an exchange student from Hawaii in class or whatever, and then it snowed and she made a big fucking deal of it. Now that pissed me off too. <laughs> oh, dude. She was like, what is this? And I was like, shut the fuck up. Dude, you know, it's snow. Yeah, that's a you good know. point. She's seen TV. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah she's that. pregnant. Well, she got pregnant in like sixth grade, so. All right. Jesus. And that's 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 it. <laughs> Call it O'Meara, everybody. Give it up for him. Keep that one up there. Guys, at this point of the show, we like to do a segment that kind of addresses what's on everybody's mind. This is Philip Garcia with What the Fuck is Going On. Make some noise. Austin, Texas. We're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with aliens. Yeah. We're going to figure it out. I'm a real alien. Don't tell nobody for real. Okay. okay. Like, for real, for real. What, what, kind of, what, kind of, what kind of shit is Earth putting you on right now? Hey, the Earth is flat. The fuck is you talking about? The Earth is flat. Yeah, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a snow It's like a snow globe. If you don't go to a rape once in your life, you need to. The fuck is you talking about? Listen, like we're on Earth from what we're told, we're on Earth, Earth, right now, right? And we're people partying and shit. Who know? Who, who's to say they have the same thing on Mars? How do aliens party? Uh, they get lit. They get lit. They, they fucking smoke some weed. They take some molly. Fucking molly. You don't believe in aliens. You don't believe in aliens? Why not? I think they're demons. You think aliens Ooh, are demons? Oh, wee. With spaceships? Uh, I think the government is trying to like make it seem like it's aliens, but it's actually demons. I'm a whore. <laughs> I do think aliens are real. I think they walk amongst us right now. I, if it wasn't you, probably an alien, and you trying to trick me into thinking aliens ain't real, well, you probably ain't real. <laughs> do you think we're ready for aliens? Honestly, I feel like we already know that aliens are here, so it's like, why hide it? Let's just like get it over with. Let's just go ahead and reveal the truth, because I'm tired of people thinking they saw an alien when it was a fucking airplane. I'm people, by the way. Would you have sex with an alien? Hell yeah. I have sex with any gender, race, person, thing. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Not into bestiality. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Like, I think we're animals. Yeah. Whoa. That's smart to say that. Aliens! Um, girl, I don't believe in them. Really? But I'm kind of scared because if they start probing us some shit, I'm scared. I don't like stuff up the ass. Would you have sex with an alien? I think it was over six feet. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is going on with aliens? Uh, they're real. Nobody has time for that. The interviewer trying to figure out whether or not aliens are real. Oh, they're real, but nobody has time for that. What if I told you that Congress just said that aliens are real? Oh, I know they did, yeah. but I don't care. Nobody has time for Would you that. have sex with an alien? No. <laughs> not, 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 even, not even the Avatar aliens. Not even the Avatar aliens? <laughs> no. I mean, it depends on whatever was going on. Your mind mind. <laughs> Would you have sex with an alien? Yes. Would you have sex with an alien? Do you believe in aliens? Did you just get off your shift at Chili's? <laughs> Do y'all believe in aliens right now? Um, I always have. Do you think aliens are here right now? Uh, I've encountered one or two. 
Yeah. Yeah. You've seen one or two. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my girlfriend, she was a guy. Excuse me? <laughs> Are you saying that your girlfriend turned out to be a guy? Yeah. And that's an alien to you? Well, she was also from Mexico. <laughs> Do you think that UFOs have landed already in the United States of America? Absolutely. Oh, oh my God! Oh, God. Have you seen from Guess, what? Guess what? UFOs have landed, but you know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. You know what? We're the United States of goddamn America. I love fucking, yeah. I love it. Aliens exist, right? Tits or ass? What do they gotta have? My God, that ass is about to be busting, bro. No, no, no. It depends on the shape, you know? No. Some can have tits if they have a nice figure. Some can have ass if they have a nice figure. Right? So, like, on a shroom trip one time, my friend saw an alien with three tits. They gotta have that shit, bro. That's a fucking necessity. That shit better be bubblegum pink, brother. Bubblegum. <laughs> That's what the fuck Give is going on. Give it up for Philip, our man on the street, everybody. He's brave for going out there. My God. All right, guys, you know this uh, show's not free, and uh, because of that, we've had to start to... Uh, well, it is a free show, but it's not free for us to put on. You guys are paying dumb. taxes. Yep, yep, we're paying taxes, we're paying the piper. But uh, in order to do that, we've got some new sponsors. We've got uh, the Conrad Fagan coming up to do an ad break for you. He's going to tell you what's going on with that. Guys, give it up for Conrad Fagan, everybody. <laughs> Are you, you guys have had fun so far? Have you guys, do you guys think yeah. they've had fun so far? It's gone all right. It seems like everybody's doing good. What's yeah. your read on it, one to 10? We go eight out of 10. Ooh, eight out of 10? Yeah. It has been a hell of a night tonight. Give it up for yourselves, huh? Yeah. Give it up for yourselves for coming up. Damn, you're unforgettable. Okay, cross that gonna do off. this. <laughs> Give it up for yourselves. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as they said, guys, uh, the show is not free. There's a lot of people who work hard on this show every week. A lot of people, a lot of, a lot of moving parts. It's a well-oiled machine here at Good Evening News to bring you guys the best headlines and the coolest bits and slideshows that always work. <laughs> we, do, <laughs> we do a lot here. The writers here do a lot. We would, we would like to express solidarity for the uh, writers who are currently striking, but psych, because that's a bunch of uh, big city nonsense that us Texas folks don't cotton to. So <laughs> that is it's from the sponsors. It's not me. Uh, <laughs> so we do have some. We do have a couple things I have to do. A couple sponsors who are who are you know graciously providing us with funding to do the show. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the only thing is that it's just this is the kind of level of respect we get in this town is they made me write the copy. Oh my god. I'm not an advertiser. Oh my god. At all. Is it, is it okay though still? I, I mean it's gonna be what it is. I, they, they, I tried my hardest. I'm not... What do okay. I look like? Fucking Don Draper Mad Men right here? No. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not allowed to smoke on stage. I know. You know? We, we clarified that last week. Uh-huh. Stop, bitch. <laughs> you know, I feel like uh, to have my culture appropriated like this, <laughs> in a, in for, for, a, for a laugh. I'm a necromancer, nigga. <laughs> Just for a laugh. You're not allowed, I'm not allowed to say what kind of mancer. I'm a ne <laughs> I'm not allowed to say the kind of mancer that I'd like to say because it makes me laugh when I think it. But guys... We're already running behind. Yeah. We're already running behind on ads. Uh, thank you, Cameron. Uh, <laughs> they made me write the copy, and so here it is. I don't know. Uh, the first one is Austin Pet Friends, the premier kill shelter in Travis County. <laughs> Our pets are the greatest thing that ever happened to us, but sometimes they gotta go. From that husky that you paid seven grand for that passes out when you walk it to the exotic bird that you inherited from your dad. Uh, we'll put that beast to sleep and bury that bird alive far away so you can get back to dying of a brain-eating parasite in the green belt. Um, 
Austin pet friends, take them down, they'll kill your pets. No questions asked. <laughs> Love this city, guys. Love it. Great city, right? The city of Austin. Uh, next up, and what I love about Austin is the small businesses in Austin. Mm -hmm. it's true. I love the small businesses, and I love how they are, you know, fucking working hard to put their name out there. And I would like to shout out this company. I actually reached out to them. Yeah, we're and here said, to fully support them, by the way. So. Yes, full supporters of uh, this, my very special sponsor, uh, Lorenzo's, Lorenzo's Private Defense Contractors. <laughs> Lorenzo does great work. They're out of Bastrop, Texas. It's a little mom-and-pop operation in an old gas station. Uh, it is the future foremost provider of all ballistic technologies in the Bastrop, Luling, uh, Weberville area. Uh, with products ranging from the AGM-65 Maverick missile to the M203 grenade launcher. Uh, be sure to look to Lorenzo for all of your assault needs. They've got Uzis, bombers, jets, you name it. They'll take it. They'll take your money and they'll sell you crazy stuff. Noisy neighbors? Lorenzo's defense contractors. <laughs> They're actually doing a special for the entire month of September. They will stage a coup in the country of your choice <laughs> and install a leader whose interests align with those of your corporation. Um, and... <laughs> for half the price that they would normally do it. So that's crazy. That's awesome. Uh, they're doing a whole, they're also doing a special this weekend. Holy shit. Down at Lorenzo's, where if you get one Blackhawk uh, helicopter, they'll slap a fucking Gatling gun on that bitch for free. There's a note, there's a note from the sponsors, no swearing, but fuck that bullshit. They're doing a fucking, they're doing a goddamn fucking special with Austin fucking pet friends. They'll shoot your dog with a bazooka, dude. They'll fucking blow your cat to high hell for having feline AIDS. That's what you get for going to those cat nightclubs in the 80s. Folks, feline AIDS is a serious condition. And sometimes you just gotta take care of them. And the best way to lower the AIDS numbers is to kill the cats with AIDS. Austin Pet Friends, the premier kill shelter. <laughs> they paid for two reads. Oh, okay. Here's what I said. They paid for two. Okay. Uh, and, you know, so I, but I charged them to write two reads. So we're kind of just making, there's no money. Oh, it's net zero. Just, okay. Net zero. Damn. Could be worse. I Austin was... Pet Friends. <laughs> Austin Pet Friends, the premier kill shelter. They are proud to say that they have ended the lives of over 300 iguanas in Austin. <laughs> and they're proud. They're proud to say that. Uh, all right, and... Do you know if people can volunteer to kill the pets? <laughs> that is a terrific question. They do have a, a, a project with the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Austin where uh, at-risk at risk, <laughs> at risk youths, uh, can, they're doing a gun, a sort of a buyback gun program, but instead of buying your gun back, you bring your own gun and you can just blow a snake to fucking shit. <laughs> Perfect. With your own gun. Good. Doing uh, that for the community, that's all. Yeah, so bring your own gun, bring a gun to Austin. To <laughs> <laughs> Bring a gun to Austin Pets Alive. Uh, no, don't do that. It's a real place. And that's been all the ads. That's been all the ads for this week of Good Evening yeah, News. Yeah. Up next, Wishbone. All right. Guys, give it up for our sponsors this week, everybody. Give it up for Conrad. Good, guys. You know, I've had the guys from Lorenzo's. They're really nice. <laughs> yeah, they are really nice. All right. We lost... We lost the one woman who was dumb enough to sit close, so that's good. <laughs> My face itch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why. I mean, <laughs> uh, guys. Oh, we, oh, you want to bring this? Yeah, I got it. This is, uh. All right, see you, Necromancer Cam. <laughs> bye, buddy. <laughs> Stick around, dude. Oh, he was serious. His face does itch. That happens. It's time to, uh, <laughs> time to switch it up a little bit and, uh, Nick V is going to help us out with that. Give it up for Nick V with Shifting Gears. Shifting Gears, everyone. I want to see what he's got to say. Nick V, hey, how's it going, buddy? First time on the show. Yeah, give it up for Nick, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
What's up, guys? I'm Nick. Is this a clicker? It's got a laser in the middle. Ooh. But you just go to the sides. I'm here with your car content. Shifting gears. On this week's episode of Shifting Gears, the pussification of the automobile. <laughs> Alright? Cars are getting lame and they're fucking boring and dumb. I'm here to prove that. Some of you seem like you agree with me already. So, some people say, how can cars be worse? How do cars be worse? How? <laughs> how, how do uh, co fuel economy going up, they say, Nick. Uh, deaths going down, they tell me. Right? These sound good. But as safety goes up, economy goes up, testosterone goes down. And people. <laughs> Now, I'm going to make a connection here. People are like, that's not correlated, it is. I'm going to make my point. I'm going to run through this with you. So, Exhibit A, the Ford Bronco. This is the new Ford Bronco. Mm. It's not bad looking. No, it's Out of the new cool. cars, I actually hate it the least, to be completely honest. Well, that's good. But I think you will cool. see, in comparison to the old Ford Bronco, pretty hard to beat, that one. <laughs> Now that's a, so, that's a solid car. That's that a, is a good looking car. It's a fast, no frills dude. car. Yep, fast it's a car. Good, it's a good, that's owned by a, probably a strong, innocent man. <laughs> that car, it's a, a good, good vehicle. Here's another angle of that one. <laughs> Look at the body lines on that. Look at the jaw line on the driver. Yeah. It's a good vehicle. Relaxed. No gloves. Re relaxed. Yeah, no he gloves. probably wouldn't fit into a normal glove. He's so big and jacked. <laughs> Thank you. Muscular hands. Exhibit B, the Lincoln. This is a brand new Lincoln. Ew. It's gross. It looks like every other car. It's a gray fucking amalgamation of shit. And I don't like it. Now let's compare this to the classic Lincoln. Pretty good car. <laughs> now that's a good fucking car. <laughs> Body lines. Right? It's a good vehicle. Here, I would, the, I would drive that in an instant. I see a laser on the... Yeah, that guy's cool. <laughs> I mean, he's a cool guy, right? That guy right car. there. Now, the thing about these Lincolns, they're so nice. They're so comfortable. They're built. They're so luxurious. The next picture I found, that guy in the back, he just fell right asleep. Isn't that crazy? That guy, he's sleeping. He's taking a nap. And this guy's so excited, he's like, he's like, he's like, dude, that is such a cool car, let me hop in. Let me in there. <laughs> and she's helping him into the car because he's napping. When's the last time you saw a car so cool, people off the street are just jumping into it? That's a good point. It's a good point, isn't it? Yep. Exhibit C, American trucks. We all love American trucks. Make some noise for trucks. Who has trucks in here? Yeah. I think trucks have become a little prissy. Here's the latest, uh... Truck from Ford. <laughs> now this is a uh, Ford Raptor here. Very gay Raptor. It's a very gay Raptor. <laughs> and I just don't like, I don't like that in the sense of, like trucks are, don't take the trucks. Trucks are tough for, for the guys. You know, these are tough trucks. They, they, they don't look good, the new ones. Let's take a look at an old, an old, like tough classic truck here. Now that's a good truck there. <laughs> that's one for the boys. Those two boys are just hanging out doing work. <laughs> Get your A to B. Just getting A to B to, yeah, to A, to, probably A to B to A again. Yeah, there you probably. go. <laughs> uh, uh, it's just a truck for dudes hanging out, fucking doing work. Yep. Couple, pretty pretty good Texas boys. shit here. Um, exhibit D Mercedes. Here's the new Mercedes. Again, they're just boring. They all look like shit. There's too many safety precautions. I've driven one of these. It's actually very boring. It's not fun. Not a fun car at all. Um, let's compare that to the Mercedes of old. Oh my there we God. go. <laughs> now that's a fucking car. Look God at the body damn. lines. Look at the swoofies and shit. <laughs> it's nice. He's got all his fucking boys hanging out. God damn back it. Back there. Everyone's looking at the car. In the whole picture. When I talk about safety, this dude's up here doing hand signals, it doesn't even have turn signals. This guy's up here fucking... <laughs> take the next right. He's figuring it out because he's a man. I don't know what this dude's job is. He's probably good at it. Whatever it is. Exhibit something else. Cars and their owners, everybody. So here's an example of a classic Corvette owner. Um, he's strong, 
healthy and he can slay, say slurs and get away with it, which is pretty cool. Um, as hell. Pretty cool. Uh, let's compare that to a new Corvette owner. <laughs> uh, gay, perhaps. <laughs> and does not get away with saying racial slurs. <laughs> pretty lame. <laughs> <laughs> I got one more thing. <laughs> what a lame looking car as well. What a weird, lame, odd looking car that one. <laughs> odd looking. This is a weird car. What a weird car. Anyway, gets. Uh, uh, now, exhibit, this is the last exhibit I have, which is some sounds. Timmons, did you get the things I sent you on did your you email there? Did you email them to me? I yeah, did. Let me I see did. if I can pull these up. No big deal if you can't get them. But I think even the sound uh, of cars now has been kind of pussified. They used to Ooh. sound nice and, like, manly. It did not? No. Can you check? Can you email them again? That's, that should be it, no? Oh, did you put it in here? No. What the old fuck? Did you... This computer is also gay and lame. Go back, go back to, uh... Okay. <laughs> Never mind, everybody! That's all I got. My phone is in the other room. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> Thanks, give it up for shifting gears with Nick D. Oh, wow. Oh, that was... That was fantastic. All right. <laughs> Guys, we got, uh... I think this is our, our last correspondent. Is, is he back there? Oh, hell yeah, he is. Guys, this, my God, when I tell you it's an honor to bring someone up to the stage, this is not a lie. Uh, guys, this guy is a hit here in town and uh, is soon to be headliner, I think, across the country. Make it loud right now one time for Donnie Haynes with Love is Magic, everyone. <laughs> Donnie, you say uh, it seems like you got some magic for us. Is it? Uh... Uh, I got a new hat. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> looks damn good. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a big. Well, I don't know if I told you guys last time, but I'm a bookkeeper. Oh, what kind of books? Sports books. Oh yeah. That... <laughs> oh, okay. And I made a little coin. That's good. It's a great way to make money. <laughs> oh no. This is what happens when you try and fuck me. <laughs> so I got myself a little hat money. <laughs> Guys, I'm here to sing a little song for you called Love is Magic. Very, very it's an original single. And that you guys mind hearing it? Yeah, you guys wanna hear that? Uh, thank you. Come on, you guys give it up Get a little bit. Donnie Haynes. Uh, that girl, man, sir, could you play me in? What were we but just kisses in paradise? We love because we We had to, and we had nothing more. <laughs> is it magic or is it a spell? I don't even know. Oh, well, if my 
not going to feel, going to feel, is everything fake or is it real, are we killers? <laughs> Is this kiss that I feel? Is it real? Thank you. Magic in the room. Patrick is dead, so that has been the show, everybody. Or at the bar, either way, say yeah. hi to him. Or he's here. <laughs> guys, thank you for coming out to Good Evening News. Did you guys have fun? Oh my god. Well, that's it. We do this every Tuesday at 10 p.m. here at the Sunset Strip. Uh, it's a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the show, go to our YouTube. We do a live stream there every Tuesday at the same time. Uh, we also have all the old episodes on there. Uh, Mike, you want to do anything? Uh, thanks for play anything? coming uh, to the show and uh, look up Donnie Haynes on uh, yeah, Spotify pretty soon here. He's a yeah. talented guy. So. Yeah, he's on Instagram as well, and so are we. But check us out uh, and come on back. Yeah, tip your bar staff really well because they take care of us. Yeah, have a great night, everybody. Bye.